We all hate split ends. We hate them because they ruin our beard. But what are split ends? Where do they come from? How do I get rid of them? Can they be fixed? Today we're going to talk about it. Welcome to the Table Series with me, Jamie Cox, owner and founder of Opie's Beard Co. And I do the Table Series here on YouTube where we do weekly content about everything to do with beards. And today we're talking about split ends and we're going to be talking about them in exactly three seconds. Welcome back. So split ends, generally, what are they? Well, they are as they sound. They're the ends of your hair that have split. Now, why is this bad? This is bad because basically when you have a split end on your hair, it can actually travel up the strand of hair, damaging it further and further up the hair. No! So that's what split ends are. But what causes split ends? Split ends are caused when your hair gets very dry and brittle. This can be caused by a number of things, including extreme weather conditions, playing with your beard too much, heat exposure if you use a hairdryer to dry your beard, and everything in between from if you work and you're catching it all day long, anything like that can cause split ends. It can also be caused by your own health, if you're not drinking enough water, if you're not eating properly, then your skin can get quite dry. It's not giving your beard the nutrients. This can cause dryness and this can cause split ends. But how far can a split end actually travel up a strand of hair? Well, split ends, believe it or not, can actually travel up to three inches up a strand of hair. This is 76.2 millimeters if you're using the metric system. Now, Generally, split ends will tend to stop at the healthiest part of the hair, which is actually halfway through the strand. So if you've got a three inch beard, then the split end won't generally tend to travel all the way to the root. It will stop probably halfway. But obviously, if you have a huge monster beard, it will travel that full three inches, which is extremely bad, isn't it? Three inches is a lot of beard. We're talking this much beard. So can split ends be fixed? Despite some products claiming that their product will fix your hair or repair it and all that sort of stuff, unfortunately, there's no way to actually fix a split end. The only way to really fix a split end is to just have a small trim, get rid of that affected area so it can't travel and affect more of the hair strand. But how do you stop split ends from actually happening? So we have six tips here for you to stop your beard from getting split ends. First and foremost is to lay off the hairdryer. Too much heat on your beard will create dryness. It will create dryness in your beard and that will lead to split ends. The next thing, number two, stop stroking. Stop touching your beard. I know it's I know it's hard to do to stop stroking your beard and you know touching it, but the more you touch your beard, the more you're going to be drying it out, you're going to be pulling those oils off the hair and you're going to create split ends. Stay hydrated. It's number 3. Sounds easy. Drink plenty of water, stay healthy. If you're healthy on the inside, you're healthy on the outside. All those nutrients that you've got inside will start coming into the hair. It will keep them hydrated. It will stop the hairs from going dry. Wash your beard with beard wash or conditioner, a specific beard wash and conditioner. Don't use head hair shampoo. It's got a lot of chemicals which pull all the nutrients and pull all the oils out of your hair. This makes your hair dry. And dryness is the leading cause of split ends. So you really want to keep your hair hydrated you need a pH balanced wash with literally barely any chemicals in it. The less chemicals, the better. So go out and find yourself a decent beard wash and conditioner, which leads us on to the next product, which is beard oil. Beard oil is fantastic for keeping the hair hydrated. It keeps it smooth and it also keeps it smelling and looking pretty good too. So get yourself a decent bottle of beard oil, massage that into the beard and the skin it will keep the beard from going dry and it will keep it nice and healthy. 
And the last thing, even though you've followed all the tips above, you are still likely to run into split ends. So make sure you're getting fairly regular trims to get rid of those split ends. Even if you're growing your beard out, you're going for the year or whatever, like anything like that, it really doesn't hurt just to have a trim every so often and just get rid of those split ends. It can be counterproductive if you're not getting rid of those split ends, you're keeping them and then it's traveling up all the hair that you're growing. I mean, three inches, we're talking six months of growth on average. That's six months of growth that you will lose via split ends. 